the feed. So let's get into this tea. We about to get into Corey spotted with a new woman. Uh, Jalen, baby daddy, upset after he caught her meet with Nair. Let's get it. So now we know that Danny and Corey have broken up and Corey was actually put out of Danny's home. Now, Danny stated that Corey was living in an RV park, but Corey has been going live and he's been at an actual home. So everyone's wondering who is Corey living with? Corey stating that he has his own house. Now, Corey was just spotted out with another young lady last night. As you can see, he's holding her hand. Then when he realized that he was being recorded. This is one lonely man. Like, he, he can't just be alone. A lot of them can't, but he really can't. He quickly let her hand go. Keep Corey on. Look at Corey. It's 1 o'clock in the morning, man. Oh, he won't he want just not pull up. Please. So as many of you guys may know or not know, Jalen from Nair and Jalen. All right, y'all. I just wanted to get this part. I'm going to add something to it because I can't do this right here. I fell into the feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into um, my good sis voice. My bad. Uh, Keith Lee fans mad at restaurant after he ate a parasite. <sighs> let's get it. A parasite moving at the tail end of the sushi, allegedly. But Keith Lee didn't notice it and he ate the sushi anyway, which made the video go viral. Since then, Keith Lee did remove the video, but then Keith Lee posted the video back up when Fob Sushi Bar spoke out. They said, Dear valuable customer, we were honored to recently welcome Keith Lee to our Fob Sushi and are incredibly grateful for his visit and the support from everyone who has stopped by. Recently, a video has been circulating online that claims worms were found in our sashimi. We want to address this claim directly and assure show you that is entirely false. At Fob Sushi, we are committed to upholding the highest health and safety standard to provide clean, fresh, and safe food for every customer. Now, they do speak on how they store the food and the supplier that they use, which is Young Ocean. And they also speak on the movement of the food as well, that people thought it was a parasite. They said, all of our frozen products meet these standards and any fresh products are intended to be frozen before consumption to completely eliminate any potential health risk. Regarding the video, the movement observed in the fish may result from natural elasticity or the pressure of chopsticks when applied to its structure. We want to assure our mm. customers that this is not indicative of any worms or any health concerns. Queen Aja and Clarence did respond to do TikTok Live <laughs> video. If you don't know, Queen accidentally accepted his request on TikTok Live to battle and people saw well, that he was handsome and they felt like they were flirting a little bit. It with, wasn't an accident, for Which they weren't, but you know, people are going to make it bigger than what it was. And the dude actually made a follow-up video which went viral, which people were telling Queen to go get her husband. Me personally, out of marriage already. But y'all have a good day though. Well, Clarence spoke out and he said, I can tell a lot of y'all dudes never got attention or girls before social media. Y'all really lame for real, LOL. The dude from live responded back. He said, always been that boy before social media. Don't get it twisted. Queen Aja also responded as well. Clout is a drug, which people in the comments thought she was talking about Chris Sales when she had to clear it up and say that she wasn't talking about Chris Sales. She's talking about the dude from TikTok live. So y'all leave our comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. So Jalen was on live last night crying while explaining why she's been missing from social media which she said it was due to her baby father and his family she told a crazy story because i don't get along with the family like his family and that's a first like my past relationships they love me down they love me to death like so like it was just a whole like it it really shocked me like dang i feel some type of way I really feel some type of way. Like, that was messed up. They don't like me because I don't let them get away with shit. Like, Soul's birthday was her first birthday. Um, her first birthday, we had got into it. Mind y'all, I'm going to just be honest with y'all. I'm going I'm to tell y'all what it is. I take full accountability of everything that I do, but I just want to let y'all know because I be holding a lot of stuff in. Like I said, I bottle up stuff. So, when I was pregnant, I was in Texas, he was here. So it was like, basically like a long-term relationship or whatever. And I was just like, okay, um, I will sa take this sacrifice. Mind y'all, I did not want to move from Texas. I did not want to move from Texas. I love Texas. Like that's my home. Like that's where I've been ever since I was a dog. Like I made friends down there. I made like memories down there. My mom's down there now. Like my sister's down there now. And 
Um, my brother's down there now. So, oh my god, get to the point. Oh no, oh hell no. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I can't do this right here because I, I don't even care. Uh, okay, so we're going to go ahead and go to T-Room video. Did a video and Neek asked a question that someone asked to Kiana stating, how does she feel about Boogie and Carmen's relationship? I love, I love seeing her happy and enjoying life, especially like in a new environment. But... I just be side on it because all these girls be coming out and I don't want her to be hurt again. Uh, like, I want her heart to be fully protected. And I'm not in a relationship with him, so I don't know. I can't really speak on his behalf. But just from a friend outside looking in, like a mother, you know, I just want her heart to be protected. That's so now Boogie posted on Facebook for the people that speak on my name and they swear they know me. Y'all some real goofballs. How lame can you be knowing you don't know me for real? Like, are you hating on me or something? Ain't no way you speaking on me like I know who you are. Even if I did, I try not to. It appears that Boogie had also thrown some shade at his baby mama and also Corey's baby daddy, Corey. Now he posted on Facebook, good BMs get the- Corey's baby daddy, Corey? bad bds and the good bds get the bad bms say i'm lying that's so lame why real goofballs life just lame now Corey decided to throw a little shade himself at chris sells he states i'm a real n-word you can't call me a o ain't nothing like christopher sells mm -hmm. chris left a comment so underneath the shade room teens stuff. post and stated now at carmen Come get big teeth. Then he also went on to Instagram and posted, Corey, when you sneeze, you bite your chin. I'm not a... Let me tell y'all something. Funniest thing I've seen this year on the internet because that was hilarious. Or... <laughs> I need something to laugh. Corey got some big chompers, boy. Them tooth is, is too fan. You hear me? About to go back and forth with Lil Bro from the Bernie Mac show, but I will say you really not like that, bro. Go scam your supporters and leave me alone. Everything fake, your teeth, your jewelry, your clothes. Next, all you need is a BBL. You guys remember when Corey claimed that Maddie stole his money? Well, it appears that that may have actually been true. I said, call my phone crying because she got choked out the whole time. She really did steal that nigga money. <laughs> Now, previously, I also mm -hmm. spoke on Corey stating that he found three. I'm not mad at nobody <coughs> for stealing his money because he stole all of Carmen's. All right. Point three million dollars in an account that he forgot about. I went to one of my bank accounts and I ain't checking a long time. I look at that bitch. That bitch had three point three million dollars in it, right? Now, this Corey's the worst lie I've ever heard this year. And Danny recently spoke on how she feels about this whole situation with five 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 in the chat. Corey finding three point three million dollars. Give a chase. I'm just gonna let you know. Don't get me wrong. This baby trying to pop it. I got some M's, but I would never in my life forget that I have some M's in another account. I would never log in an account and be like, "Oh, I got three M's over here." <laughs> Nigga, I don't forget about. $30 sitting somewhere, so. Come on, y'all. We all know that our bank statement, we got we got electronic bank statements now. I would never in my life log into one of my accounts and say, oh, I forgot. I got three, three million over here. I've been living with, I've been living on people for the whole year. I've been bouncing around from different, from house to house. I forgot to buy myself a car because I forgot these three million. <laughs> I could have been bought me a car. Yeah. I could have been got me a house. Nigga, I could have been got me uh whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whole life. I have forgot. If only that that that's really how that sounds to me, y'all. If only I would have remembered that I had three million dollars in my account. I shouldn't have been living with daddy. I right. shouldn't have been living with this person. With Maddie. I could have bought myself a car. If only I remember that I had $3 million put to the side. Now, let me let, let me just tell you something. People would have believed that 
if you wouldn't have said, I forgot I'm telling I had you. three million. Now, when you say you forgot, see, you talk too fast and you talk too much. You supposed He wasn't even talking fast that day, I don't think. Well, he talked fast all the time, but nigga, you forgot, nigga. Three million dollars? Wouldn't have never stayed with Maddie, wouldn't have never stayed with Danny, period. Wouldn't have never stayed with my sister. Supposed to just been put up the three million and just supposed to been said, yeah, here go my Navy federal account. Yeah, three million. I'm like, okay, okay. But when you said you forgot that you had three million dollars, Y'all, let me tell you something. I'm not finna forget $30 in my account. You see what I'm saying? $30. The first thing I do every morning after I pray, I check all my accounts. I check all my recent transactions. I check every account I need to start doing account that. I have. And I have five different accounts. I check every single one every morning and really check them every night before I go to sleep. That's how I know nobody can never steal from me. So I just want to know. How long the three million dollars been sitting in the account? You just you forgot about it. That what he so said. you forgot about the three million dollars at the time when I posted the message saying you need to run up ten thousand dollars to pay some of the debt off that you owe people. I posted those messages stating that you finna sell on your raffle mm -hmm. to run up ten thousand dollars so much to pay some people. Stuff. So now, so why you didn't think about the three million dollars then? Why you didn't think about the three million dollars on the day? Ain't no way you gonna be calling me broke, and now I gotta prove it, prove that I'm not. I ain't gonna forget that. Things that I had to like feed you. Why you didn't think about the three million dollars? <laughs> yeah, I can't make this up. I I really can't. Like the man lies, Jess. He just I don't mind you lying on me. I don't care about you lying on me. People lie on me anyway, so I don't care about that. But you forgetting about three million dollars is diabolical. I swear, I never, I never in my life seen somebody just lie like that, y'all. Then let me tell you something. He trying so hard. He trying so hard, y'all. He went in a jury store, right? He went inside a jury store. He had the man to pull out a Rolex, right? He had a man to pull out a Rolex pull out some Cartier shades. He tried to shave on. He tried to watch on. I'm talking about the cameraman. You cap too. They got him going in the jury store, trying the jury on, putting the shades on his face, but we didn't see nothing when you came out the jury store. You want to record all that? Why you didn't record the bag? The bag, you know, the bag, you get, you know, when you get in your car, you got the bag with the jury on it. Why we didn't see that part? It's like, it's too much cap stuff be going on, man. I'm just tired of it. I am tired. Do you hear me? I am so tired. Danny, you shouldn't have never messed with that foe. And I don't even take all that. You either got it or you don't. I am, I am tired. Like, y'all, y'all just don't know, like, the man is trying too hard. I promise you, anybody that know me, they should know. He done talk too bad about too many people. So he can't go out like that. That's why Chris had to go get fake money. Y'all remember that? If I ain't mistaken, Chris was toting around that fake money a couple days ago. But you done said so much about people being broke. Now you got to carry around fake money to make it seem like you got a bag. That's why you got to be humble. And I don't mean be humbled because I do. If I feel like it's a difference, but if you be bashful, okay, because it makes sense. Any, any day, any given time, you could lose the status that you have. Look at P Diddy, bro. So stop playing with people and stop being rude to people and stop treating uh, everybody bad. Come on, you will have to do all that. If a man had some money, I would still be with. I would still be with that man. 
any man that I left, I do not want back. I can tell you that now. If I left, if I left the man, I do not want them back. Y'all. But I cannot keep allowing this man. First of all, he constantly mentioned my name. He said that I'm on the run. First of all, let me tell y'all something. And this is something that I get tired of coaching y'all because y'all take one narrative and run with it. If anybody was looking for me, if he press charges, anybody looking for me, this and that, everybody know my house address. My house went viral. Everybody know my address. Nobody is going to look for you. They just going to come get you, first of all. Nobody is going to look for anything. Like, y'all got to understand, like, this internet, people just be one clout. They just want a storyline. The man is trying to get paid. Like, come on now. And the YouTube channel ain't even doing what it what? needs to do. I'm just going to be honest. Your YouTube channel ain't paying you nothing but $1,000 this week. $700 the next week, $800 the next week. That's it. Like, oh your YouTube God. ain't popping. It don't matter how many times you go that's, viral. That's like, dope. you going live on Instagram, you ain't getting paid for no Instagram lives. You no. ain't dropping no vlogs. So what money are you making? You, you Danny, this man ain't got no motion right now. At all. You posting an old account, probably screenshot that account. I ain't no telling how long ago. Like, cause what he really finna made me do, he really finna made me do a video screen recording going in one of my accounts and say, this is what we wanna see. We don't wanna see no old account. We don't wanna see none of that. This is what we wanna see right here, cause people be too kept. And like, I can't stand, I can't stand the cap stuff. Like, I promise I can't. Like, it's okay to cap sometimes, but at the end of the day, if you done fail, it's okay to say you fail, but it's hard for you to tell somebody you fell out because you done talked so bad about people. That's all I'm saying. A lot of people don't know if I'm broke or not. And I like it that way. Honey Sauce has stopped me from doing a lot of stupid shit. I'm talking about the first time I got a lot of bands. I just wanted to go get $10,000 in 20s and shit. <laughs> it's so stupid, though, because, like, we get it. You got money. Eh, like, nobody cares, bro, in real life. Nobody. Whatever I got. I'm not giving to nobody that I'm just not giving it to. So what would, how would y'all benefit me telling y'all I got a lot of money? How would y'all benefit me even telling y'all I'm broke? How would y'all benefit from anything that got something to do with me that I'm not giving out? Oh, it's just, just, it don't make sense. I just don't get it. Y'all broke. Oh, ain't nobody finna listen to y'all. Oh, this and that. This person broke. This person broke. Y'all don't know nothing. You talk too much. You talk down on too much. So you talk and I respect the janitor. So. Down on people too much. So now it's hard for you to even just say, yeah, I failed. But people fall. I did it my first two years. My first two years, I, done, I ran through a meal. I ran through two million. I didn't get no sense to my third year. I promise you. Like, I really didn't start saving until year three. Because my first two years, I popped it. I went and bought new Mercedes, new Camaros back then, new everything, like new Tahoes. I popped it. So it's okay. It's okay. My thing is you trying too hard. Like, oh, this man said he forgot that he had $3 million in account. Like, how do you forget about $3 million, y'all? I'm not even about to forget about an account that got $30 in it. I'm not, even, I'm not even about to forget about an account that got $3,000 in it. I'm, I'm John Day? I feel her, y'all. I feel her. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.